those little touches to make a difference. Word. But anyway, chat, this is loser semifinals. A best of five Three, set winner two, has the one, honor and privilege go. of facing off against Frost in losers finals. Sorry. So a lot riding on this set here. This will be a run back if Yuri wins. Yeah, it, it'll be a run back, but right now we, we, got, we got to be running this loser, this loser semis. This, this is, um, I, I don't know, because I feel like I, I'm actually going to look this up, so I don't even have to ask, because I know that they have a set count. I know that both these players perform at a level where they've definitely gone head to head a number of times. I, I mean, you would think so I want right? to predict that I think Bethel actually uh, has the advantage in the set count. I, I could be so mistaken, too. though. Let's look at this update. It's not even um, a question. But as yes. of right now, this ledge trap like is dominating from Yuri. Looks like their set count is 2-1 in favor of... We called it. Right, so uh, Yuri right now looking to make this a 2-2 two -two set count uh, and, and make it a, a more of an even favor as opposed to um, Bethel's. That's correct. And right now, the case is pretty convincing as uh, they are still pretty healthy on that first stock, all things considered. Oh, yeah. Very oh, my increasingly God. Increasingly damaged Bethel 3D in their face. That was strength in that F smash, but not enough to close out the stock just yet. But hey, still a really good, still a really good one. Right. There, there is strength in these, in these neutral options right now, but Bethel. Trying to fight back as he catches Yuri on the platform, but doesn't catch him with an option to close out the stock. Tries for the yes mass just out of range of Yuri to get hit by that there as well. And uh, Yuri's doing a great job at playing basically the same game that Toon would have been playing as well. Right. Look, Bethel is one kill confirm away from uh, taking the stock, and Yuri's like one strong hit away from taking the stock as well. Right. So this is a uh, this is a, a important moment of this match. There's that back air. Taking that stock, go. and now it is three to one in favor of Yuri. That's absolutely correct. Alright, early down air for 17%. Oh my god! Let's go, oh my god! Me. Beautiful combo! I saw him fishing for it! A oh monstrous zero to death! God, that was powerful. Let's see it again. That was so hot. Dude. Dude. We got my down god. Gets that first down air. Throws it's out the cross. Me. Boom, boom, Not boom, oh. bam. Ah! Skip up, boom, boom. Bing, bada bam, pow. And then beam. And then got him. That that was nice. Running straight back yeah, to PS2. This like says no changes here. Only thing I need to change is this up. Set count is six. The only thing that needs to be changed is that attitude of battle. Exactly, man. Yeah, it, you gotta you gotta get back into this. Hey, game one's over. It's done now. You can't do anything about it. The best you could do is uh, do something about the rest of these uh, four, potentially three games. That's right. Here we go. We're trying to fill up the neutral a little bit more this time. This time in slight favor of Bethel. It's only for a little bit, but Yuri's trying to catch on to that pretty quick straight out the gate. And yeah, these drop down aerials, man, are a super strong option from Yuri. Seemingly, regardless of the matchup, he just seems to work wherever he goes. Everywhere he goes, I think right these, now, these drop down areas just one place. I think, uh, you know, the, the problem in this matchup, specifically for uh, Beth 3D and Toon Link, um, is the fact that since Toon Link is so floaty, they kind of have a hard time of like mixing up their offstage or their, their ledge options. Um, right. Like, if they jump, like, they're getting hit by something. Uh, right. Whether it be like Watching a turning cross, the holy fire, or like just over there. I, there's, there's a lot of time uh, between when Bethel jumps to when they land for Yuri to react to. I, I, I see that. Like how that could potentially be uh, troublesome for the others. Right, but I killed it from, from Bethel to be taking the uh, early lead in this match. Right. Here we go, we got our re-grab. Yeah, we got our re on the ledge. Another no re Oh, there's the... Wait, oh, 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 oh. Yep, that's it. Even game, once again, two sides of peace. Felt fresh. Took a couple of tries, but man, Yuri completely controlled that ledge and every single option that happened on it. Yeah, the stock count is now tied for, for good goals. 
Uh, However, Bethel's still breaking free from the uh, tie game first, uh, putting himself at a 91% lead. That's right. In the lead, but already Bethel's sizing up for the kill. Yeah, they're, they're sizing up the opponent right now, which is it's pretty good move if, if you ask me. They, they gotta just feel it out a little bit, because they, they don't want to get too hasty now. That could, this could be make a break for the match. Oh, that was a perfect setup onto the platform, too. There could have been a nice follow-up and play for that as well. If he caught that. You can tell that Yuri is kind of scared. They don't really want to overextend or approach right now. They're just kind of hanging out by that platform. Um, they don't want to be put in a position that's disadvantageous for them. Just like right. that forward throw into the boomerang off stage. That was great awareness from Beth to throw out that boomerang and say, yeah, yeah. Try tether, uh, you're gonna be getting hit by this. You don't have a job. Great work there. Take this. Go. Okay, not bad. Good neutral from both Bethel. of them right now. Yeah, Bethel is looking to extend their lead, but Yuri trying to find their way back into this. Now we know that Bethel with a lead is better than most players in the entire scene. Yeah, no, because I mean, it, it is a. Uh pretty trademark to the players. Right. Because, I mean, tempo is, is, is the word I can think of to uh, describe Bethel's playstyle. When they're down, they're down. When they're up, they are so far up, it is so hard to bring them back down. Oh, there yeah, is there you go. a Bombo two stock victory. Bombo combo. Bombo combo. Final check count here. One and one for both of these two players here. Check it out. Let's see that again. Bombo combo number one. Getting them off stage. Waiting for the ledge option. Throw the bomb, we call that Bombo Combo number two. And that is a pretty solid finish. Pretty solid finish, I gotta say. Yeah, I I, I heard Bombo Combo once and I'm like, hey, that, that is pretty fun. I'll take it. So Smash was gonna be the pick for game three. Um, since Bevel won that game, it's two more matches in either one's favor uh, to win the entire set. We're basically going back to a best of three situation. Right. It's, yeah, it's basically back to square one in that regard. Back to square one. Well, right now, uh, I uh, look, <laughs> we know how Yuri plays on this stage. And I mean, uh, not very yeah. many people can deal with it. Right. I mean, not not too many people are adept at dealing with it, but hmm. so, something tells me that like, like so far with how the match is going, you could just look at the scoreboard and kind of figure it out. But the neutral kind of shows for itself that I, I feel like he's handling it pretty well. What, what, what do you say? I don't know yet. I, I, I think I gotta give it to where it gets the lead first. Because um, again, that's important for Bethel, but on the stage, whenever Yuri uh, gets a lead first, they snowball super hard. Right. And, like, this defensive wall that they can put up is so devastating for anyone they come into contact with. No matter what the matchup is supposed to be like, because that, that platform is so easy to put the shark under and, and, and funnel approaches into the front. Room. And then, right. you know, they can, they can fall through the platform and, and aerial. It, it, it's super important for their game plan that uh, they have that top platform. Very crucial. I agree with that completely. Oh, yeah, and there we go. The first stock count is on the board for Yuri on this pick. And yeah, the Smashville pick is a very good pick for Yuri. That, that has been established very well. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's again, like, those drop-down aerials are so good for Yuri. And I feel like the stage by far and away where those drop-down... And I mentioned this before. I'm, really, I'm sure you remember that. Um... Like, basically almost every time it comes up, we have gotten plenty of Yuri on stream, it looks like. Did we get any Yuri matches on stream before I showed up tonight? Uh, I believe we did not. Okay. Uh, I can, yeah. I, I'm gonna check. Yeah, still have some pretty good um, stream time though tonight, I would say, and, uh, I, I feel like you, you, you would agree with me if I said that, uh, this... this yeah, that was the first one on, on stream. Yeah, this, this, uh, center stage platform. It's very good for uh, letting those aerials shine. And there we go, solid four throw, putting Yuri up two stocks ahead. What are your thoughts on that? Because that, uh, that is impressive. Bethel needs to just not get hit the rest of this game if they want to win. Right. 
Like, uh oh, well. He's perfect now. It's over. It's over. Oh, he got he hit twice damage. now. Look at this defense from oh, no. Yuri. Hold on. Try getting through that. This man's ironclad. This oh, man is, uh, untouchable right now. Oh, break it. He's invincible. Invincible. He's it. <laughs> <laughs> you watched that too? Yeah, I like that show a lot. It's goaded. Uh, it might be one of my favorite TV shows. Really fun. Probably top five. Though. Really fun to ride, but <laughs> you say fun, but uh, not this neutral right now. They just going at it. Like, you they are right testing each other's defenses to see who will give first. Yeah, they are. They are walling right now. Now Bethel's starting to kind of play like um, like Bob uh, was a little bit ago. Right. With those uh, uppies at ledge. Right. Oh, How many whips did he throw in the last five seconds? Right. Yeah, one, one shot the other. Oh, yeah, actually, that is true. I forgot that, uh, Bethel also is the coach at GCU. Yep, that's right. So, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. No, not at all, but, uh, yeah, this neutral's looking really good for Yuri. Yeah, there it is again. Those aerials off of that platform, whether it's good off of the bottom or off of the top, are going to be super proficient, like you just saw there. Super proficient. <laughs> Bethel, uh... And, right, yeah, it could, could potentially be the Smash Bros. out of play for the rest of the set, depending on how... Uh, if the Yoshi's rest is the counterpick. Yes, the counterpick. Um, I gotta be real with you for a second. What's up? <laughs> I think it's a really good, um stage for Richter in this matchup. You think this is? Especially especially Yuri's specifically. Three, now okay, look, 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 look. The slant is gonna make it harder for um, Yuri to throw down the uh, holy fire uh, you know right in front of them whenever they're trying to ledge trap. But I still think that you know Holy Cross works incredibly well, Axe works a little bit well. Um, there's a specific spacing they need to do for the Holy Water, but it still is useful. And this low ceiling means that Uppy combos are going to be uh, killing a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely something that's worth noting there. Right, so he's trying to go for one just there, but the up air to intercept from Bethel. Uh, oh, yeah. stop to that one. That's right. Here we go, we're finding yourself back on this, and uh, hmm, the neutral is definitely shaping up for the both of them, but it does seem to be in favor of Bethel right now, so he's finding himself on ledge, and even the roll on the stage is going to be caught with the bomb, so yeah, Bethel is on top of his neutral right now, and that percent is starting to show too. Right, um, Bethel doing a good job of, of, of securing this lead early, and just, you know, fighting his time, being patient, waiting for the opportunity when he can strike and confirm a kill. Right. Waiting to strike. But considering, considering the low ceiling of the stage, we also might be getting up air kills a lot earlier for Bethel as well. That's true. Yup, and there's a good number of moves that can confirm the nature that is set up air. And nope, looks like the complete opposite is all we need. A down air. We'll be closing out the first lock in this game. Alright, right, up tilt combos. 23% already on the board. Um, but, you know, Yuri can just kind of hold down the fort. He's doing a pretty good job of it right now. Look at that, 67 back on, yeah. and this babysitting right now. He's putting so much uh, passive pressure onto Bethel as they're trying to recover back on stage. Just by hanging out there, he is completely manipulating what is the thoughts that are going through uh, Bethel's head. He's pulling out quite a bit. Yeah, you told him. Dude, there's a lot of... I, and they're definitely catching on to each other this lane instead on game four. Uh, there's a lot of play style that's being, uh, like, look at that. We didn't see that at all, uh, like, towards the beginning of the set. Into a forward tilt to the other side of the stage. Like, we're getting pretty creative here uh, as we progress through this set, it looks like. Now, if, if, if Bethel wins this game, um, we're going to a game five. And one of the most prominent things about Bethel uh, and, and not necessarily their, their play style, but their mindset is their adaptability. And on top of that, their usage of psychology to uh, determine 
and uh, predict what their opponent wants to do next. In an interview segment for the AZSL, um, Bethel mentioned that they really like that aspect of the game. It's one of the things that keeps coming back. If we see a Game 5 situation, the mindset for Yuri might be the thing to watch. Right, that might be something that uh, could end up being very potent. I agree. I agree on that one. Uh oh. But uh, right now, Bethel raining fire on his opponent. <laughs> Yuri! Yeah, Yuri, oh. you can't keep doing this! I was dude. like, yeah, I was kind of just like waiting for us to move on from this one, but yeah, it is, uh, it is some ongoing pressure, and Yuri is, uh, kind of just taking it right now. Bethel was, uh, forcing Yuri to approach him. Um, yeah. But Yuri was 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 holding on to uh, the floor as opposed to you know getting a higher trajectory and making Bethel come to them and there's that combo Bethel oh, forcing yeah. a game five situation. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Bethel's a uh, belligerent pressure on Yuri paid out and now we've got our uh, game five coming up next. Very peak neutral, I gotta say. It's good neutral, uh, I, I will say that, and it definitely did its part. Yeah, but FD is, is going to be the counter pick in this match. Um, that neutral was positively busted. And we do have some uh, some nice Castlevania music coming out. Like to hear it? I, I do respect the pick from from Yuri. Uh, I agree. Castlevania had some pretty good bangers in this game. I, I will admit. Yeah, they did it right. They did it right on that one. I agree. Help from the past. Will be the music pick. FD, uh, the uh, zoner classic here. I'm interested to see how Bethel plays on stage right now because you know both characters can't really get a lot off of this, but there's no platforms for Yuri to hide under. Yeah, nowhere to run. But that right, same for Bethel. And already we see an early stock. Not even 30 seconds into the match, and uh, Yuri has a nice lead. Pretty nice lead, I gotta say. Already an entire stock lead in uh, FD. Who do, who do you think? I, I would say that both players get something off of this map, but who do you think is winning um, more so in terms of like uh, what they get off of the stage? Well, the proof's in the pudding. Take a look at what Yuri's doing right now. You know, that, that cross True. is such a good option on this stage because there's no platforms for Bethel to escape on. No, that uh, that, that Holy Cross can cover the entire stage. Yeah, it either forces um, his jump, jump or... jump over it, it's just pressure. Right. No, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to touch on, too. So it's either... It's forcing one of two options to break it down as simple as possible. It's forcing a block or it's forcing a jump. And Belmont does have tools to cover both of those options, so... Yep. <laughs> Yuri will not be calling for that twice. No, seriously. There we go. Excellent use of the neutral B. Oh, wow. yeah. Just shy of landing his second one, but good air dogs on the second one. Oh, Alright, the back air is going to connect, but it's not going to kill. Nope, not just that back air is uh, is, is pretty good at early percent, but not great at late percent. It's going to kill super uh, consistently. Yeah, it's not going to realize too. It is good for early percent combos, though. Yeah, that's fair enough. I agree. Oh, Alright, this time rolling uh, to get a saucier punish, then get up attack. And unfortunately, Bethel mismanaging their recovery. Game 3, Game 5, Game 6, Game 7, Game 8, Game 9, Game 10, Game 11, Game 12, Game 13, Game 14, Game 15, Game 16, Game 17, Game 3, or excuse me, Game 5 rather, ending exactly how Game 1 of the set started with a 3-stock. Sheesh, yeah. In favor of Yuri.